All right, so when we look at this, Eric, it strikes me that the key question is, you described the situation there as raw, emotional that first night. But is it the case that you had people coming from outside of the St. Louis Ferguson the area, area sort of attracted by what you might call protest, uh, tourism, riot porn is the way some people refer to it? What were you seeing? Well, Niger, you just heard what Eric said, and it raises the question in my mind, you know, it could it be just that you have some social networks these days? You know, people get online, you can start spread, spread the word quite quickly these days and start something like a flash mob. Could that have attracted people who are, for whatever reason, whether they're nuts or they're angry, they're frustrated, whatever, with the system, they say, I'm going to go to Ferguson. I'm going to stir up some trouble. But you, Niger, are suggesting right, so when that we maybe there's a, a, it's there's a key, key, that the key question is, you right, so when we situation look at this era, era, emotional it strikes at first me that night. the key question but is, is the case that you had people coming from outside of the St. Louis Ferguson, Ferguson area, but is it the case that you had people coming from outside of the St. Louis Ferguson area? I think protest tourism is a really good way to think about it. I, I have wondered, you know, I there have been people who have I think protest tourism is, here, is really a, a great way to think about it. I, I have wondered, you know, there have been people who have been here. I was here in August. The, the people were here. They've been here since.